This Red Zone segment is sponsored by Belgio's Catering. That, that is the little brass bell. And these guys want it back. And why wouldn't they? Look at it sitting there, ready for the taking. And who gets it? It's a matter of who wins. Wheaton, they won it last year on their home turf after a bizarre 48 hour game. The year before, well, that was North Central's turn to hoist it. But the history goes back further than two years. Try 1946. That's when the idea was proposed and it was put into action. Since that moment, there's been 67 battles for the Little Brass Bell. Wheaton has won 46 of them. Recent history, though, favors the Cardinals. Six victories in the last decade. As for the bell itself, its history is a long one, so we'll speed it up. It came to the area in 1837, then became part of a political feud between the cities and where the county courthouse should be. There was a midnight raid, things were taken, the bell is among them. The story says the bell then wound up with a local farmer who had two sons. One son went to North Central, the other Wheaton. Not surprisingly, college kids did what college kids do, and another series of midnight raids to recapture the bell had a bouncing back and forth between the two college campuses for years, and then it disappeared. It reappeared in 1940, became the prized possession once more in 1946, and we can now fast forward back to the present. And not only does the winner now get the bell, in the last 12 years, North Central or Wheaton has been champion or co-champion of the conference each year. So yeah, it's a big deal. Question is, who wants it more in 2018?